All right, Bolo Buddies, thanks for being here. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about some truth, some things that are gonna change, some things that are saying the same, just some things that are going on with the channel. Thanks for being here. And at the end of the video, I am gonna do a preview of my upcoming whatnot auction for tonight at 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I hope to see you there. It's gonna be vintage kids, toddler, baby clothing. There is a link down in the description. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Let's talk about the channel, the Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, what's going on with Bolo Buddies and what you can expect in the future. Um, not much is changing to be quite honest, but if you have been on the channel a while, you have noticed probably that I have started to incorporate in more sourcing videos like going to the Goodwill bins and garage sales and trying to be uh, more interactive with you guys with the reseller vlogs. I'm getting some people saying they love the reseller vlogs. Other people hate them. Some people want long videos. Some people want short videos. Um, I'm never going to please everyone. I am trying my best and I'm trying to give you guys a wide variety of content. That's what I'm trying to do. Thank you all so much. Like that's the first thing I want to say is thank you. Um, I just hit 28,000 subscribers and I just can't even believe it. Now, the truth, okay? some changes are going on in my life. Um, I am a full-time eBay seller who sells on Poshmark and Mercari. I basically start my items on eBay and I will cross post to Mercari and Poshmark with List Perfectly. If you don't know about List Perfectly, we're not gonna go into that right now, but there is a demo video down below. It will help you cross post and get more eyes on your items. I highly recommend it. I've been talking about it forever. So demo video down there. If you want to try it, 30% off with uh, referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. That's all I'm going to say about it. Um, am I still doing that? Yes. I am going to continue to be a full-time reseller. What is new? What not? You guys, I was going to start it in, I believe this, no, I'm sorry. It was August. I think I was going to start in August. I'm like, I'm going to have a show. And I kept telling you guys, and I kept telling you and telling you and telling you and I kept putting it off and in December I did my first show and you guys I am hooked I absolutely love it number one I get to hang out with you guys and for those of you that have come over and hung out and supported me whether that be just watching and hanging out and chatting in the comments or buying something, thank you so much. <laughs> I am just overwhelmed with the support that I have gotten on whatnot. I just, I can't, I really can't even believe it. Um, so if you're not following me on whatnot and you would like to check it out, basically what whatnot is, is it's an auction site. And I was fighting it because I tell you guys all the time, I list my items on eBay, I list them at a higher price point, and I wait for the right buyer. I am a long tail reseller. So I felt like whatnot was gonna like eat me up. Like I was gonna be giving stuff away and I was gonna be done with the show and I was gonna be like, oh, I just gave all this money away. But you know what? It doesn't feel that way at all. Like I get done with the show and I'm like, I am so happy that that part of my money pile is gone. Now I can go source more People are getting great deals. I'm already having people messaging me with things that they've sold, that they bought from me, and which is incredible because really I didn't, I didn't start Whatnot thinking I am going to cater to resellers. I started Whatnot thinking I'm gonna build my business and I'm just going to auction these items off. If it's a reseller, awesome. If it's not, fine. I don't know what my items are gonna sell for. I am just gonna get on there and do the best I can, start my items at a reasonable price and let the people watching decide what the value of my item is. That's what I thought. And that's what's been happening, but people are buying my stuff and reselling it. Now, as far as looking things up, I do not have time. So um, I have done vintage clothing, which holy cow, I had three amazing shows. If you guys came to those shows, you know, like, just incredible stuff, right? 
Um, I'm in the middle of working on my second vintage baby clothing and toddlers, kids, vintage clothing. So what happened with the first show? Was it a success? Yes, but let me tell you my failure, okay? There was one bag and you'll see it in my preview video. I'm like, I'm not gonna go through this one. This one will be a mystery. Well, I kind of, I did one bag first and it was great. Everything, I think I sold everything almost. And then that bag ended up being a bag that I had gotten at a garage sale. And it was, I think maybe it had been stored in someone's attic or something like that. It was their kids' baby clothes and a lot of them were stained. And this is the byproduct of that. All of these items were stained and I started showing these piece by piece and they had issues and I'm like, oh my goodness. And each one I pulled out, I was like, oh, what a bummer. And, um, Finally, I stopped and I was like, all right, let's move on to something else. But by that time, I had kind of lost my audience. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. And I felt like shucks because I've got all of these amazing, incredible items. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you what I have left and what is coming tonight at 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my Whatnot channel. These vintage baby toddler kids clothes are incredible. So make sure you go down and you click on the link and you join. If you, if you want to join to get the $15 with the referral link, join. So you get that $15 to shop. And then I'll also link down below the link that will take you directly to my show. But I think if you use that link, it's going to take you to me anyway. Um, and I'm Bolo Buddies, all one word over there. And um, you can just bookmark the show. So we are going to talk about the stuff that's left, but if you decide to do whatnot, maybe don't make that mistake. Um, I was thinking this is going to be exciting. There might be a home run in there and there could have been, but it was kind of a womp womp. So these are coming back. There were some people that expressed interest in me bundling them so that they can, um, th they would be a TLC. This is going to be a TLC lot, all vintage baby kids clothes, um, stains mostly, and I, I didn't wash anything. So maybe you guys that know how to do that special stuff uh, to get stains out, you might be able to clean them up. You might be able to use them for patterns. They might be cutters. Who knows? I don't know what you guys do with that stuff. I am not crafty at all, but I know that people buy this stuff. So um, preview videos, are they going to be on my channel on a regular basis? If I have a whatnot show, there very well could be. I was going to put them over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel, but they're just not getting the views. And I think a lot of you kind of enjoy just me showing you what I found. And it's kind of like a haul video, but they're not super educational. And most of you that watch me, you watch me for the education. So um, let me know in the comments. What do you think about the preview videos? Do you like them? Is it going to depend on what I'm showing like, I feel like the vintage clothing went over well because people love seeing vintage clothing. But I don't know. I'm just kind of feeling things out. But the reseller vlogs, I do continue, do plan to continue to do those. Um, not every, not all the time. I mean, you guys watch these videos and you see a 20 to 30 minute video. The editing on those videos can take two to three hours. So I'm releasing a video every single day. So I'm putting a ton of time into YouTube. Now I have added whatnot. So let me tell you how whatnot works, okay? If you are actually going to set up a catalog, that's gonna take you a long time. I don't do a catalog. Everything is, I just, you come to the show and it's gonna be a surprise. I mean, I'm gonna give you a preview video, but what I'm showing, it's, it's just gonna be a surprise because I don't have time to do a catalog. I am usually on whatnot. I start at 9.15. I've kind of decided that's going to be my time. That way I can get all of my shipments done um, before I go on. And I like all my eBay and all my Poshmark and Mercari, all those shipments are done. Okay. So 9.15 is kind of my time slot. And then um, the problem is, is once I go on, I have a really hard time stopping. <laughs> and it's been like, I think I got off at 3.30 in the morning one night. <gasps> So 9.15, oh my gosh, how many hours is that? Like five, six hours on straight, but I'm hanging out with you guys and it feels like 30 minutes. I mean, it goes so fast. So that part is awesome. I love that part. 
After the show, I have to sort everything into piles. I have to package them and then I have to create labels. So that sorting, packing, putting the labels on, that can take another four to five hours depending on how many items I sold. There's been a, a few shows that I've sold over a hundred items. The Christmas items, I was selling breakables. So that was kind of crazy, but um, I did get some new bubble wrap and I am using American Bubble Boy. So if you guys are interested in getting bubble wrap, I do have a link down below for that. I'm loving it. It's that other stuff I had, we'll just say not good. But I talked about that in a past video. Um, I had bought some bubble, bu bubble wrap locally and it was just not good. And if you guys received some of those uh, vintage Christmas ornaments from me from my whatnot show, you're probably like, why does this ornament have three pieces of bubble wrap around it? Well, it's because it's my old bubble wrap. The new bubble wrap is incredible. So American Bubble Boy link down below. That is my referral link. So check it out. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I have left for my show on Tuesday night. Uh, some really great items. So let me get to that. And I would love your feedback down in the comments. Just kind of let me know what your favorite video is. Um, somebody like mentioned they don't like the sound effects. When I slow it down. And speed it up. And make funny voices. But I got to tell you guys that it makes me happy. I'm going to keep doing it. So I hope it doesn't drive you guys too crazy because I literally do those and I listen to them back and I sit and I laugh at myself. So I hope you guys are enjoying it and it's not like, I hope it's more people like it than people that don't like it. I guess let me know in the comments. It would be great to get your feedback. Um, I'm not going to be offended by that. Like you guys, I am fine with you guys telling me things that you would like me to do differently. I can't say that I will change. <laughs> But I definitely take it into consideration. I know there's been some people that have complained about me talking about products that I use. You guys, I'm going to tell you most channels flip flop around. They're using different things all the time. They're just telling you what they're getting paid to tell you. I'm not doing that. I do have referrals that helps me keep this channel going because right now the ad revenue, like I don't get thousands and thousands and thousands of views on my videos okay so somebody who's getting 50 and 70 and 80 thousand views they're making money i'm doing okay i'm not complaining but those referrals they do help every little bit helps and those of you that have bought me coffee lately so unexpected thank you so much and you know who you are i have reached out to you and thanked you personally thank you i appreciate it um but again none of that is expected or required <laughs> You know, I don't expect any of that. Do I appreciate it? Yes. Do I work really hard? Yes. I work really hard. Um, all right, let me show you these uh these vintage kids clothes, okay? And these are coming tonight at 9 15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, you guys, this is everything that's coming to the Tuesday night show. There is so much left. Um, I cut it a little short on my Sunday night. Was that Sunday night show? So we've still got um, the Raggedy Ann and just a little side note. Um, I do have a link tree and I will link it down in the description of the video. I'm going to try to push out notifications to those of you that are interested in my whatnot shows with that. So I think it comes to your email. So if you subscribe to my link tree, um, you will get notifications when I'm going to go live on whatnot. Hopefully, that's the plan. Plus, if you're following me on whatnot, you should get a notification from them as well. I think that's how it works, but I will tell you, there's people I follow and I don't get their notifications. So, uh, if there's anything else I can do, I put it on Facebook, I put it on my community page. There's just been people asking, like, I never know when you're on. So, those would be the things to do. Turn the bell on um, for this channel that will alert you when I post new videos. That will also alert you when I post on the community page. This is a Bonnie Jean dress. Here's a little plaid skirt by Green Dog. Look at this. This is incredible. And I'm just going to give you guys a quick preview here. Um, look at this. Look at the presents they open. I did not get... Really, I'm just going to say I didn't get to the good stuff. I have so many poly, uh, well, not a ton, but I think two or three poly flinders. And 
Is it Flinders? Yeah. So I just found out that it's not Poly Finders. It's Poly Flinders. Everybody told me. Thanks so much for telling me. Vintage Oshkosh Bagosh. So cute. Um, so I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Hearts and flowers. Look at this one. I love this denim dress. This is a Poly Flinders. It's in excellent condition. Uh, look at this. This beautiful little cute butterfly. Uh, Rose Cottage there. This is what uh, that eagle one that I showed, Eagle's Eye, and it says Eagle's Eye on the back, and it has this really great um, border around the bottom. Let me uh, move some stuff around here. So this one is just absolutely darling. Love it. Um, we've got this vintage Jamboree. How cute is that? Uh, this one here, I think it has a little hat that goes with it. It's Bonnie something, and it's got a hat. It's adorable. This is another baby bagosh, Oshkosh bagosh. So cute. Um, the Disney store never ran this one. There were so many things I just didn't get to. Here's another Jimboree. Look at that color block. Would you call that color block? Adorable. Never ran this. Martin and Barnett, San Francisco. Some sort of fancy like blanket, I think. Never got to the Princeton. Never got to the YMCA. These are single. Uh, well, this one's a single stitch. I think this one's made in the USA, and yeah, made in the USA. I don't know how to tell if it's single stitch, if it's a ringer. So just these really, really cute dresses. This one is Swiss Dot. This is Smocked, I think is what it's called. I have this. I absolutely love this. It's made in Japan. It's this adorable little um, shawl. This is Plum Pudding, I think is what it's called. Yeah, Plum Pudding. And it is fantastic. It's this leaf print. It is a bigger size. This is a size seven. I think that's the largest size I have. This one here looks like it's got some staining. So I'll probably put that in with the other stuff. Um, this is High Girls floral dress. This one here I think is a Polly Flinders also. So if you watched my other video, some of you've probably seen most of these, but um, trying to do a better angle or a better better view. Jan Briggs, look at that, look at those poofy sleeves. Oh my goodness, how vintage is that? Would that be 80s, you think? That one's a size eight. Baby's first Christmas, this is brand new. This one right here is another one that is brand new. It's got a little um, hat in it. I don't think I showed these. And it's definitely, you know, a vintage tag. Maybe not super, super old. Vintage Thomas the Train it is made in China, but it is still a vintage top. We've got this tie-dye bag. So um, I guess you'd call that tie-dye. So it's, the baby slips down in it. I think this is another Polly Flinders. And it is a size five. Super cute. It's got the smocking. Here's another plum pudding blue little dress. We've got this purple check. I'm going to try to make this quick just to do a quick preview for you guys. Cute little, here's Ralph Lauren, but it's got some red where the red has faded, so it'd need a new collar. Um, a little green Christmas dress. This one right here, this next one. Oh my goodness, look at these little gingerbreads. Oh, it's so cute. Little turtleneck. It's called Rare 2. So, um, Another little Christmas dress, sweater. This is Precious Moments, but there's nothing on it. Kind of kind of boring. Little red dress, but warm, right? This one has some staining on the actual lace, but besides that, it is just, it's stunning. So somebody will have to fix that up. Here's another red Christmas dress, this little sailor romper. Some of these items I did show. All right, this one is itty bitty and I just love this. It's like, I don't know if it's a coat or a dress or if it's a mix. This little thing right here, look how cute. Oh my goodness, these clothes are incredible. So I hope to see you guys. Um, just gonna do a quick little preview. That's some sort of towel. And then I sold out of, I had three of these and I sold out of, of those, but I kept two of them for tonight's show. And then nobody wanted this one. I thought it was really, really cute. Um, and then I also have these vintage handmade baby blankets here. And I did not show this yet. It's a fitted crib sheet. So that's kind of what's coming. Um, 
it's a lot. It's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope to see you guys Tuesday night, 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And again, make sure that you go down. And if you're not already joined to Whatnot, join with my link and you'll get $15 to shop. And if you're already on Whatnot, I'm Bola Buddy, so I would appreciate the follow. What do you guys think? That is a massive load, right? Lots and lots of stuff. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Your feedback is very welcomed in the comments. Um, just be nice. Be nice about it. You know, I'm doing the best I can. I really am. I know I don't pronounce things well, and um, I'm trying to make light of it because it is what it is. So I am who I am. And I thank all of you that are here and supporting me and accepting me for who I am. Thank you so much. It means so much to me. And I'm excited to see where the channel goes in 2023. So thanks for watching.